It's Monday again. How time flies. It's already been a week since the last video. Oh, well. Yes. Hello, ladies. It's Monday once again. So, it's my face. You have to sit through. Sorry about that. So, what we're doing this week. Alice very cleverly thunked up the idea that we should really have some rules set on this channel to do with our videos. So I'm thinking this week each of us thinks up at least one or two rules for these videos, right? Here are my examples. I realise as all the ideas go, when it gets to Alice again on Friday, it's going to be really hard to think up rules. Sorry. I think we're all sorry about that. But we're not because we don't have to have as much a hard time, so... Mwah! We're so horrible. Rule number one from me. If anyone misses a video for, like, no real reason, if someone can't make a video because they're on, like, the other side of the planet and have no recording material or even an internet connection, I think we can let you off. But if you don't have a good reason, like, I once just didn't make a video because I didn't feel like it, on my main channel, and I was punished by eating cinnamon, which wasn't fun. I don't think I'll make you do that straight away. But if you miss a video for like something like that, you're gonna get punished. Now, I'm not exactly sure how, because I, f I think we sort of said every other week we'll have a challenge, and I'm not quite sure how we can differentiate a punishment from a challenge. I realise with a challenge, we'll all be doing it. A punishment, only one will be doing it, but... We'll think up ways which are punishing. I have that kind of mind. So you know, one idea, if someone gets punished or it's time to do a challenge, we don't know who should think up a challenge. We should maybe like roll the dice. Whatever number it lands on, one to five, is that person who should decide a challenge? I don't know, that's an idea I've literally just thought up in the last 10 seconds. So let me know how you think about that. Roll number two. Now I'm not saying one, I'm saying two, because it's two fingers. Videos shouldn't really be much longer than, well, they shouldn't be any longer than, than eight minutes. I can't do eight. Videos should be no longer than eight minutes. Right? Because I realised, um, last Friday when I recorded my main channel video, because I make a vlog every week, every Friday, um, I witted, like, really long, and I only just got the video under the 10 minute mark because that's around the average YouTube lets the videos unless you're like a super special awesome subs um, YouTube partner and they love you so much because you give them hugs and money um, I, sh <laughs> I make YouTube sound s like such a horrible group of people because they only let you go over 10 minutes if you give them hugs and or money but I want hugs and or money if I were YouTube that's what I do I'm, off I'm, I'm getting off track but mainly, I realise that if you don't keep an eye on time, it's really easy to go over the time limit, and when you finally finish the video and they don't let you over it, it kind of sucks. So, no longer than eight minutes. And I believe, we could say this is rule three, if you break any of the said rules we make up, it's a punishable offence. I realise my rules are fairly straightforward, don't go at an inhumanly long time, and don't not make a video. But those are just general ground rules, which are generally, you know, what you do. So, those are my rules. I need to kill more time, so let's expand on that introduction I botched up last Monday. Now, I mentioned that my favourite author, because I love reading, is John Green, but I didn't actually explain what other authors I like. Now, of course, I love J.K. Rowling because Harry Potter is, like, the greatest thing ever. I mean, come on, it's Harry Potter. What get What's better than Harry Potter apart from Doctor Who, because Doctor Who's amazing? Where is it? They're about on par, we'll go with that. They're about equal. Now, I also love Darren Shan. I don't know if any of you have heard of him. Give me a moment, I'll grab one of his books. This is one of his books which I've read, which I really like. It's called Death Shadow from the Demonata saga. The Demonata is mainly about the battle between the human race and demons. And it's really good. It's a ten-part series. You should really have a read of it. It starts with the book Lord Loss. I say go on Tinterweb and buy it because it's brilliant. What other authors do I like? I really need to um expand because my book, 
my authors are like that. J.K. Rowling, John Green, Darren Shan. That's all I've got. And I've only just noticed that. Oh, I know who my other favourite writer is. Give me like, well, give me no time because there'll be a jump cut and I won't be gone. Now I realise this is um not a book as such, but it, William Shakespeare. I realise this isn't just a Shakespeare book, this is a Magna Shakespeare. But um, Shakespeare's brilliant. I love Shakespeare. I actually got into acting doing Macbeth as a Shakespeare Schools Festival, which is a UK thing. Um, so Susanna and Laurie, you probably won't have ever heard of that ever. Macbeth though was the first piece of theatre I'd ever done. Um, I loved it, fantastically. I actually then went on to do Romeo and Juliet the year after, which was really fun. So, thank you Shakespeare, you got me appreciating literature and acting, and I love you loads, because you're awesome. So those are my favourite authors, what more can I go on to? In one of my main channel videos, I actually mentioned that I enjoy doing something called live action role playing, which is possibly, well, as the title of the video I first talked about it was, it's like the nerdiest hobby ever, but I love it. Mainly it involves, it's sort of like D&D &D without the dice. You play a character and you hit people for the very simple reason of it being fun and it being part of your story. Well that's really fun, but I've recorded about 10 minutes of footage. I'll probably end up cutting that down to 5 and it'll be a really short video. But nonetheless, I'm out of here. So Susanna, it's you tomorrow. I warn you, it's really easy to like say the rules in the space of 15 seconds. So, you might want to thunk up some more stuff to talk about to kill time. I'll see you tomorrow though.